All right, guys. Um, Marvio Cook's back here. I just made it back to the hotel, only to worse news. Um, the Dutch Marines are kicking everyone in hell here who was being sheltered, including little children like the one that you see in front of me. We are all been told that we have to pack up and leave. Um, most of the people here have lost all of their homes, um, me included. Both my parents' home and my home is no longer habitable. And now we are being kicked out, displaced by the Dutch Marines because they want the entire resort to themselves. Um, so yeah, they come here to help, but instead what they're doing is displacing more people so um, again, like they say, Netherlands for Netherlands, sir. and um, we, I guess, again, we're not the right hue, and we're not Dutch enough to stay here. So um, I'm and my family and I are officially homeless. Um, we officially have nowhere to stay. Uh, the Marines have kicked everyone out of DB Little Bay. They said, uh, if we're helping you, we need something too. And they said they want housing and they took everyone's rooms. They actually just commandeered everyone's rooms and every single one. There are over, what, 200 rooms here and now we all have to get out of here. So, um, guys, um, I'm trying to stay strong, but, uh, I don't know where to go now. Um, I knew it was a bad idea. They came here and they took everything, guys. We're, we're getting kicked out by force. They said um, this is for the Marines now. So, um, nothing, is for nothing. nothing is for free. Nothing is for free. And they come here to help. They came here to help. And instead, we need housing for They said, we, we're here to help and we need housing, so we're taking this. And um, screw everyone who doesn't have a home to go to. Just, um, you don't have to go home, but you can't be here. So, the Dutch Marines, please share this. The Dutch Marines are kicking everyone who is taking shelter here at DV, including all of the workers. Off of DV Resort, we now are on the street. Um, yeah, guys. Foreigner in my own country. A stranger in my own land. Again, the Marines have come to DV, and the King has arrived. Thank you, King. Um, yeah. They are displacing everyone from here. They say you can, all of you need to leave. This the resort is now ours. They are not providing any place for anywhere else, anyone to stay. Um, you're basically on your own. It's dog eat dog out here, guys. The Marines are supposed to make it better, but in this instance, they're making it worse. I have nowhere to stay. I went out and got, oh, and by the way, they might not want me to let you know this, but um, uh, Council of Ministers contacted me and Ralph and we got Council of Ministers water for their decom center because it didn't have any. Yes, you heard right. The gentleman who has no car and is limping on a foot got the government water for their ministers to be able to meet at the decom center in the SF Bay building. I am not holding anything back anymore, people. I am tired. I am over it. Um, uh, my two-year-old daughter is my, is my main concern right now. We have nowhere to go. Uh, my grandpa, my parents' house is gone. Basically, my apartment is gone. I am at DB Little Bay, Jackie. Um, good news is I was able to set up um, connections. So those that are going to send supplies, I whenever I find a place to sleep for my daughter and my wife and my parents, um, yeah, then I'll be able to do that. But right now, I have to put all helping others aside and. Um, find where we're going to go because the Dutch military just told everyone here, babies and all, that you have to leave. We came to help and we need something in return and we are taking all the rooms. If anybody knows DB Little Bay Hotel, I'm telling you right now, there's, there were only about 20 people left here and they're all family of workers that have no place to go. They're all family of employees that have no place to go. These employees have been here working their behinds off. 
since the storm, making sure guests are okay. So yeah, the guests get treated well, everyone else gets treated well, but the workers and the families of the workers, well, guess what? You're on your own now. Good luck. Get out of here. Thank you for what you've done, and uh, bye-bye. The military said, uh, we don't need you here, and, uh, you know, we don't care. We don't care if you have nowhere to go. Figure it out. You from here. So, um, yeah. This is an uh, outreach from myself and my family. Um, I need some place to stay. Um, yeah, if I can have anybody come and help me at my yard in K Hill, I'm reaching out to Bromi. I'm reaching out to everyone in that area. If you can help me clean up my yard by my parents' house and try and patch up the roof as best as we can, I mean, we got no water, no nothing there. We've been. Yeah, GB is working. Yeah, so, um, yeah. Uh, we gotta get out now. The military is kicking us out now. They've actually just commandeered all the rooms of all the families and told them they need to get out. So I guess um, the furthest Dutch I can get is my Dutch passport. Um, it doesn't matter what we do, it doesn't matter what you say. Um, Natal Lancer for Natal Lancer, especially if you're with. So, I'm telling you right now, guys, um, the Marines are supposed to make things better. And again, in this case, they have made it worse. If you can see, everyone here is now trying to figure out what to do. People with babies, employees that have nowhere to go, people that have lost it all. We are now being kicked out by the Marines from DV Little Bay. We have nowhere to go. They don't care. They are also not providing transportation out of here. So whatever you have, you are getting kicked out with it in your hand. Good luck and goodbye. Uh, again, now I'm sorry and I'm going to say, where is my government? Where are my top officials to come and intervene in this? Where are my ministers? Where are you guys? I'm out here delivering water to you guys. You guys contacted me to get you water for your decom station because you had no water, nothing to even flush your toilets, nothing to even give to your ministers to drink, nothing to even give the king to drink. And now I get back from delivering water to you guys and I am told that I have nowhere to sleep. I am doing as best as I can, guys, but I'm... I'm <laughs> The situation isn't getting any better and I'm probably gonna get lots of heat for this but I don't care anymore um, I haven't had any contact with anyone of a top official that has even offered some kind of assistance in any way we are here at DV the great people here working now have to get out okay um, please Tomorrow, if we can get some. Um, so, tomorrow, cleaning, guys, cleaning up if Lakin you guys can Road, get to Welfalachan Road, number 15, across from Builders, what used to be Builders Paradise, on the hospital road, please get share this message and get, it o get over there to me. I will be there, me and my family, and help me just clear out some stuff and patch up my roof as best as I can. And um, so we can be clear and at least I'll have a roof over my head, some kind of a roof over my family's head, my daughter's head, so that we can um, continue, continue providing, with, providing with help. Guys, we, uh, we provided at least five gallons of water to Council of Ministers today. You don't understand that. They called me while I was at the hospital and asked me, could you please um, come with us to give us water. Council of Ministers, the six ministers, had no water to provide to themselves. They asked me, a guy who's hobbling, walking on foot. They have access to the military. They have access to police, everything. They have access, I'm assuming, to the shipment that supposedly had reached here with water. I got, and the, the, the I took, we, my team and I took sparkling water that was donated to us for the community of Phillipsburg and we gave it to Council of Ministers and then went and filled up another couple of gallons for them. Now I come back to TV and I'm told by the same military that uh, you gotta leave. 
so um, yeah, guys, share it. This is what's going on on St. Martin. Um, half of the half of the other things that you're hearing isn't really as bad, but this is the real reality of it all. Is that the ones who are trying their best, the ones who have suffered the most, are still getting grinded to the ground. The shorter part of the stick. <laughs> we are not even getting the short stick. We it's just that's because a short stick would be a long ways. No, this is the shorter part of the nah, stick. No, we're not even getting the stick. <laughs> we're getting a foot in the butt. So yeah, guys, share it. Let them know. Marvio and Ralph provided the water that Council of Ministers and Prime Minister will have at their decom. And if you want to come at me for it, ministers, you can come at me for it. I am sharing what's true. Come and prove that it's not. I even streamed when I did it. So thank you again to... Um, um, the person that topped up my phone, it came in right at the perfect time. Um, again, the Marines are kicking all of the families and the workers from DV out of DV. Um, most of these people have nowhere to go. They're not providing transportation out of here. I think we have up until tomorrow to get out. Um, me, uh, in my family included, with my two-year-old daughter, um, we really have nowhere to go, so we have to go and fix up that house, what's left of it, as best as we can to make sure that we have somewhere to sleep. The Marines are supposed to help, and what they're doing now is displacing more people. For those of you that don't understand, like that, how many rooms does DV have? DV has 210 rooms. One, some rooms have two beds in it, so that means a full family can stay in one room. There are about less than 20 families, well, less than 20 people here, not families, 20 people here with their families staying in the rooms. So on one floor, there's about maybe five rooms being held by five to six people per room, sleeping on the floor, sleeping on the bed, whatever they can. And they came in and said, well, if we're going to help you, you got to give us something too. And we want shelter for our soldiers. So you guys need to get out and goodbye. What type of plan is that, guys? Where are you, ministers? Where are you? You tell them you bring Marines or you have nowhere to put them either, so instead you let them displace people who have nowhere to go. The same people that were taking care of the guests that you guys know were a liability to keep them here. So we worked hard to get them out of here safely. And now the same people that cooked in the dark, stayed up all night, made sure that those very same people had food. And then when the military came here, made sure they had food too and somewhere to sleep. Now you're going to tell me you're just going to let them get kicked out? Again, I work for government, but I am not a government official. Again, I am Dutch, but I am still a foreigner in my own land. This is what's going on. And I don't care who wants to come at me for it, and I'm not politicizing it. I am telling the truth. I have not been called by one minister to ask, what can I do for you, including my own? I delivered water, me and Ralph and Charity delivered water to DCOM today. Us, they called us, not the military, not no one, just civilians that are bringing water. And the water we brought them was water that was supposed to go to the families in town and in St. Peter's and in the surrounding areas for them to have water for their children to drink. Um, my home, um, I'm going to post pictures of how bad my home is after this stream. So, again, if anyone that is on St. Martin sees this, I live on Welchelechen Road, number 15. That's where my parents' house is. That's where my parents live. I don't live there. Where I live is gone. We are looking for anyone that can volunteer and help me and my dad finish cleaning, well, start cleaning up the yard because we haven't even been able to tend to our own home because we've been here taking care of guests and I've been here taking care of everyone else that I can, helping them out. And I'm not complaining about that at all because that's what my duty is. That's what people are supposed to do. Don't know where I'm going to stay. We have no idea. So if we're not able to find stuff to patch up my, my parents' house as fast as possible, which is still unsafe because parts of it are, are, are actually caving in. Once you see the pictures, you will know and you will see what I mean. Um, yeah, it's goodbye and good luck.
that's basically what they're telling everyone here. Take your stuff, goodbye and good luck. Thank you, Marines. Thank you, King. Thank you, Government of St. Martin. You have been very helpful. Thank you, Ministers. And you're welcome for the water, by the way. I hope that somehow that comes back to me in some kind of, some kind of gratitude. Because this, what I'm getting right now, this is, this is sad. All they're sharing and what I'm getting is, oh yeah, they're talking about the looting, they're talking about this. Yeah, but it's just a distraction to what's really happening on the road here, guys. And these families here are just a small number of what's being displaced. You have the harbor, you tell them you can't set up barracks over there enough for your soldiers. You have the airport, you tell them you can't set up enough barracks in the airport for your soldiers. Wait a minute, let's not even go that far. You requested for the Marines to come here. You telling me you didn't have a plan so that they can have somewhere to stay? They had to come to a hotel, ask management, and say, you know what, we'll give you fuel if you give us rooms, and then turn around, well, actually, you know what? The king's gonna be staying here, so y'all gotta get out? All right, guys, enjoy the 210 rooms, because, yeah, enjoy it. Some Martin people are strong, we'll find a way. So anybody that can come tomorrow to Welcome Lakeland Road number 15, right straight across the street from what used to be Builder's Paradise, you'll see two strip mango trees. I appreciate any help. I'm going to be posting a picture so you can locate it too. Um, yeah, because right now it's really just me and my dad um, that are going to be doing all of that work. So... Um, <laughs> this is what I come back to after. This is what I come back to. You need to go to what? Find what? I am doing the game. So there you go. There's our guys who are kicking us out, our new landlords. Good stuff, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Kingdom, for displacing a good number of families that have been here helping and making sure that you are okay. Thank you. I'm just a civilian with a fancy ID. That's all it is. Please share this video. Let the people know what's going on. <laughs> oh boy. So for those of you that just joined the stream, I'll repeat it. I was out at the hospital this morning, got called. Um, Council of Ministers needed water. They requested me and my team, my small little team who's on foot, to provide water to them. We took water that we had stored to give to families in town, gave them boxes for that, and then went and took them to get more water and filled them up with water so that they can have for their ministers to have so that they can have water for sanitary purposes and drinking and then while helping out more families on the road I get a call from my wife telling me that I need to come to the hotel immediately I was already on my way to the hotel walking limping and uh, got a ride and uh, when I arrived down, I see most people outside in the reception area and they inform me that the military said that we need to get out of DB because they want all 210 rooms to themselves. So the families and the employees, the families of the employees that have been here taking care of all of the guests and taking care of the military when they came here and making sure that the resort is still running somewhat and making sure that people are fed this is the gratitude they get. Um, they have nowhere, most of them have nowhere to go to, so they're trying to figure out what they're gonna do. We are not going to be provided with any kind of transportation out of here, so if you don't have any, good luck. Find it yourself. And um, yeah, good luck and goodbye. You don't have to stay, you don't have to go home, but you can't be here. Thank you, Dutch Marines, for displacing yet another group of families who already had nowhere to go, and now, you are sending them to fend for themselves. Thank you very much. 
This right here? I, I mean, I'll show you the faces of the people. Look at everyone. People with babies, they're trying to figure it out. Everyone here now is trying to figure out where we're gonna do, how are we gonna get by. We have nowhere to go. We just salvaged what we could from our homes. So, again, if anyone has the time tomorrow, I will be at Welkalekan Road number 15, right across the street from the parking lot of what used to be Builder's Paradise. My dad and I are gonna be there cleaning up the yard. We need help, it's just me and him. Um, we got big trees and stuff to move out of there. Um, you know, you would think because I work for government that I'd be able to request for somebody from Bromi to come and help me, but that's a long shot because I'm just a civilian with a fancy ID and not one minister has asked me what they can do for me. So, um, and I didn't really expect it. I just wanted to keep doing more for the people. But, um, so yeah, if you can come and help me so that I can at least, um, put some kind of roof over my family's head, that would be greatly appreciated. And once I do that, I will continue to help others and still find a way to get moving. Um, and again, let it be known that it was Marvio Cooks, Ralph Cantav, the professor, and Charity Sam that provided water for a council of ministers to have so that they can have their meetings at SFA building where they are stationed and so that they can have stuff so that the ministers can drink water and have sanitary water for their toilets. And then I come back to find out. Thank you for all your services and good bye. All right guys, I'm gonna post um, pictures of my home so you guys can know where it is. And um, me and my wife are gonna figure out what we can do because we have a two-year-old daughter to think about. Thank you.